All right, everybody, welcome to the free step-by-step self-publishing course. So real quick, who am I? Uh, my name is Sean. I first discovered self-publishing back in 2016. Uh, until then, I wasn't really making money online. So this was the first business that I started really, you know, succeeding with. Uh, I built my business up to $10,000 a month in 10 months since I started. And it really was a life-changing experience for me. So since then, I've made over six figures the past few years. Uh, six figures per year uh, for the past few years. I published over 100 books, 99% under a pen name. I've seen all the changes in Amazon over the years and constantly studying new ways and trends uh, when it comes to self-publishing. So I just wanted to share my results with self-publishing real quick. Uh, these kind of stuff, you know, makes me uncomfortable nowadays. I used to like it when I first started, you know, succeeding in online marketing uh, because I kind of wanted to show off my results after failing for so many years. But now I just feel a little uncomfortable sharing my income. However, you know, I do understand that as someone who is in the teaching side of things, you want to make sure that, you know, you're showing your credibility because it, you know, as a student, right, you want to make sure you're learning from someone who is actually getting the results that you want. I've made this mistake in the past where I paid coaches who claimed, you know, they were making seven figures and I paid them a lot of money, thousands and thousands of money. I mean, specifically, I paid them twenty five thousand dollars to learn from them. And it turns out everything was a lie. You know, they were just simply lying about their income, lying about their credibility. So I wanted to make sure that I actually show you um, that I do have some sort of results when it comes to self-publishing. Of course, I can't really show you uh, the name on the account and whatnot, but this is, I, th I thought the simplest way to show you, you know, the success was just to show you my W9 form. Um, so this is from Audible. Keep in mind, I have, you're going to see four pictures here. So uh, I have two KDP accounts personal and LLC, and two ACX accounts, personal and LLC. So this is my Audible account, $46,000. So in 2019, I made over 190000 from self-publishing. So this is one dashboard. This is the Amazon side of it. This is the auto, other Audible. And this is the other Amazon. So this is a small one because this is a personal KDP account uh, because I merged uh, my account to one KDP account, uh, just one LLC account early this year. So besides this, I do have other income sources related to publishing, which is, you know, publishing books in aggregates, such as draft to digital Ingram Spark, meaning outside of Amazon, and also uh, using my books as a lead generation tool, get them in my email list and promote other stuff in the back end, such as affiliate marketing and different products and services. So everything added up, it was over $190,000 in 2019. I also have other businesses. So since you know I was able to make uh, quite a bit of money from self-publishing and I was able to save everything, I started investing that into real estate and also stocks. And I am making a few thousand dollars a month from those on the side. I also do YouTube where I teach self-publishing, affiliate marketing, and uh, other investments that I do. So just basically sharing my experiences. And everything really started from self-publishing. So if it wasn't for self-publishing and how amazing this business is, you know, I wouldn't have all of this. So I'm very, very grateful for that. So I wanna go over real quick why self-publishing, right? So self-publishing compared to traditional publishing is, you know, you're skipping the middleman, which is a traditional publishing company, and you're just going directly to Amazon or other publishing stores and you're just simply you know publishing the book yourself so the benefit of this is that you can keep more royalties oftentimes you know the difference is staggering so if you would self publish your own uh, you can from a 299 book for example you, you could potentially be making you know two dollars uh, per sale compared to like 10 cents or 20 cents or something really small that you know, majority of the, the royalty will be taken out from a traditional publishing company if you would go through them. Uh, you also have a faster publishing time. You can publish any time you want uh, compared to often waiting years to get published with a company. 
You also have more control in terms of what you want to do, which direction you want to take the book, what kind of cover you want, uh, what kind of marketing you want to do. So it is also a great business to start making money online even if you aren't a writer. So you know, self-publishing is a great way for writers, uh, but also it's a great business model for anybody who's not a writer but who's more into like online marketing because there is ways to publish books without even writing it yourself. This is what I did. However, the strategy in terms of marketing are all the same whether you're writing the book yourself or you're not writing the book yourself. So this course is for you if you want to build a passive income business because the great thing about this business is once you publish your book on Amazon, it's going to be there forever. Think of it as a little real estate that you have on Amazon. So, you know, there's so many people going to Amazon, so many people looking for books specifically on Amazon and they're all ready to buy, right? So just by having your books on there, you're going to be making sales. It's going to be passive for you and it's going to be a kind of a, a residual royalty machine, right? And if you want to learn how to publish a best-selling book, this course will show you how to do it. This course will show you uh, exactly step-by-step -step what you have to do to actually become a Amazon bestseller. And if you already have a business and you want to use books to market your business, because books are a great business card if you have a existing business. Imagine if you are a real estate agent and you have a book on say uh, top 10 things to look out for before buying your home or top 10 mistakes to avoid when buying your first home, right? If somebody is trying to buy a house, you know, and they're considering which real estate agent to work for and they're looking between you and this other guy and you have a book on real estate, like purchasing a home and this other person does not, who would you think they're going to go with? You know, of course, considering everything else is equal, they'll probably choose you because you show more credibility and authority because you have a book published. Now, this really applies to any business that you're in. Just having a book shows credibility and authority in the niche and really helps gain trust uh, in your services. And this course will help you do that because it'll show you how to easily create a book for yourself. Now the opposite of that is true too. So even if you're not in business for yourself currently, you could use this as a launch pad to go into the niche that you want to. So if you want to become an authority in a fitness training niche, for example, you could start publishing books on that niche, you know, how to build muscle, how to lose weight, and you can use that as leverage to start getting clients for your fitness training uh, business. You can start selling courses, you can start coaching, you can maybe start offering services like a meal planning services for your clients. You can also go into public speaking if you want to and having a book really opens a lot of opportunities for those kind of things. Or maybe you just want to learn how to publish books under a pen name and make money online without anyone knowing who you are. This is how I got started and so many others are doing this as well. They're absolutely killing it and making five, six, even seven figures a year without anyone knowing who they are because they're publishing all under a pen name. Self-publishing is, in my experience, one of the fastest and most powerful marketing tool for entrepreneurs today. And it is much faster and efficient than SEO and it is less expensive than running ads. So your book will keep getting leads for your business through Amazon. And these are buyer leads, right? Because everybody on Amazon is looking to buy. That's why they're on Amazon. So through your book, you can capture their information, get their email, follow up with additional services or products that you offer if that's the route you want to take. And publishing books is an amazing way to do that. You just need to learn how to show up in front of them. So the big question is, how do you make money? We research Amazon and find hot topics that are trending that has high search results but low competition. Then we go and create the book and publish on Amazon. As people search for the book via the keyword, your book will show up and start making sales and you make money while you sleep. So this is a perfect example. This person here has a book on computer programming for beginners and now this is how you uh, do SEO for Amazon, you basically optimize your book title for the keyword. So the title obviously computer programming for beginners. So every time 
people search for computer programming for beginners, this book will show up. Provided this is a sponsored uh, listing, meaning it's run by ads, Amazon ads. Uh, so there is a way to show up in the keyword running ads as well, but you can do this organically as well. So imagine this, you know, having multiple tens or even hundreds of these books on Amazon making you passive income while you sleep. So the big question I get asked a lot is, what if I'm not a writer? In this course, I will show you how to outsource and still create very high quality books. This is exactly what I did. And if you are a writer, that is great because you will save some money in the production process. What if I don't know marketing? What if I don't have any following or I'm not tech savvy, not sure what to write about? I'll show you exactly what to do step by step. So basically you just need to follow it. The types of books we will be publishing, just to kind of go over this real quick, I will show you how to become a best-selling author publishing in non-fiction books. If you want to write fiction books, you can still follow the process of the course as it's pretty similar. Now, if you want to create low content books such as journals, the process will be the same until the book creation and marketing part. The big question I get here is how much would it cost? So if you're writing the book yourself, you want around $500 in your budget. If you're outsourcing and choosing the most premium option for everything, it can go as high as $1,400 per book. Now, this is an estimate, so don't quote me on, you know, the exact number of $1,400, but it's going to be roughly around there. However, I will show you cheaper alternatives for each step, so this will vary and it could be much lower. Again, you know, $1,400 or so is if you literally outsource every single thing, because if you don't want to spend time in doing the steps, you can outsource it, but if you're not going to spend time, then you'll be spending money, right? So that is why... And also outsourcing everything and choosing the most premium option uh, for every single thing, then it could go as high as that. Now, if money is tight for you and you want to start self-publishing, but you want to start publishing, you know, kind of the cheap way, uh, oftentimes the free way, you can do that with low content. So I will link to a low content course that is also free. So you can go through this free low content course. Uh, it's not from me, but it's from somebody else that I know and trust. And you can start making money that way. And whenever you're ready to start publishing high content or normal nonfiction books or fiction books, then you can come back to this course. One thing to keep in mind, though, generally speaking, high content books yields higher returns. But, of course, there will be a higher upfront investment. There is also free ways to publish high content books. But realistically, it's not the fastest way. Again, if you really want to go the free route or tight in money, starting with low content is probably best for you. So I'll leave a link to a free low content course below. When will I start making money? So you will start making money soon after the book is published. How much you make will depend on your niche and keyword profitability and how well you execute each steps. Uh, this is definitely not a get rich quick scheme. So if you're looking for something like that, then this course is not for you. As an example, some books I published made thousands per month, some hundreds, some less, but the great thing about self-publishing is it, it always made something. And as it kept selling, you know, whether that's 10 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month, over time, I eventually recoup my investment and start making a profit. But then again, it is just like with any business, I cannot promise you any results. Just remember, it will keep on selling for eternity on Amazon and there are many ways to make additional income from the same book, uh, whether that's be bundling it, uh, aggregates, audiobook, and other opportunities in the back end. So it takes real estate an average of 10 years just to ROI, and often it's considered a good investment. And when it comes to self publishing, there's no way it's gonna take 10 years for you to make ROI. A lot of people do it in a couple months, some take a year, but anything longer than that, usually, you know, you somehow messed up in the keyword research process or maybe your cover isn't as good, uh, but that is kind of the standard there. And anything you make after you recoup your investment is pure profit. So keep up the long-term thinking. Even if book one fails, oftentimes releasing book two will boost sales on book one and on and on. So if you're ready to start, if you're ready to get started, go to the next video and make sure you join the free Facebook group. I'll put the link in the description and see you in the next video.